<laughs> that, that's that's the reason I chose it. Um, I think you have to give up the screen, Keshe. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm out of the screen. Ew, homework. Ew. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a pretty straightforward homework. Um, I think the last one might be the only one that kind of gives us trouble. Um, so who's the author of our text and what are his dates? Crickets. No, crickets. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 8, I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> 1385 to 1438. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, and what, what's his personal name? Gaelic Gaelic Samba. Gaelic Samba. Yep. Give the full title of our text in both English and Tibetan. Tema Yiki Munsa. Yiki Munsa. Tema De Den Gigin. Yiki Munsa. Tema De Den Seven books on. Gallic, the correct, accurate perception of dispelling the darkness of the mind. Yeah, totally. A jewel ornament on, yeah, the seven volumes and correct perception. Um, <laughs> hey, V, Ava's watching. <laughs> um, Ava's watching Dad. Yay, Dad! <laughs> um, so now we've got, um, this is, uh, so I thought you guys could work together. As a, as a group to, to come up with these here. Um, so list the seven books which provide the source material for our text and supply your answer in both English and Tibetan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Seman Amdra. That's the one yet. I come up with. Commentary on accurate perception. Yeah, that's one. Some of Kuntu. No. Oh. Drop of reasoning. Oh. Drop of reasoning, yeah. What's the Tibetan? They <laughs> mud Good. Yeah, totally. Pra totally. So, Pramana Vartika. Pramana Vartika. <laughs> and, and, um, and a drop of a drop of logic. Drop of logic. Totally. Rikpe tick. Rikpe tick tick. No, tick tick and tick 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 tick. Can say tick tick. <laughs> yeah, same and um, yeah. ascertainment of accurate perception. That's four. Tamerik. What's the what's the what's the what's the famous one that um, that Geshla studied with Mr. Wu at the ginseng party? Saman Saman Drupa Siddhi. Sanantara Siddhi. Sanantara Siddhi. Sanantara Siddhi. Yeah, and the Tibetan. Rule says, yeah, that's five. So the last one, I'll give you the English. I'll give you the last one. Uh, for, well, there, there are two more. Uh, so I'll give you the English and you guys give me the Tibetan. Um, you've got um, oh, an analysis okay. of relationships. Drawa. Uh, Takpa, right? Yeah, and then... Um, uh, reasoning for debate. Oh, Yeah, totally. Yeah, good job, guys. Totally. Nice. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we didn't really cover much because we had the um, we had like a thirty minute video at the beginning of the class last time, so that's why I had. To, and obviously, the uh, the vocab is kind of worked into this last one. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, handsome. Okay. Good job. Uh, are you gonna sashi us? Yeah. Sashi puki jukshing metal drum. Rira bling shin in de gimpadi. Fang ye shing do mik te uvargi. Drokun nam dark shing la juvar show. Idam Guru Ratna Mandala Kamniyatayami 
Sang ye churang so ki chod nam la Jang chu badu dag ni kyab su chi Daki chen ye be su nam ki Dro la pin chi sang ye ju par sho Sang ye churang so ki chod nam la Jang chu badu dag ni kyab su chi Daki chen yen gi pe so nam ki Dro la pin chi sang ye ju par sho Sang ye chu rang so ki chog nam la Jang chu badu dag ni kyab su chi Daki chen yen gi pe so nam ki Dro la pin chi sang ye ju par sho Yay, Adam. Okay. Oh, I gotta, I gotta show you my. Uh, let's see. Share my screen, right? Mm. Please. Okay. You, you guys okay? Yep. Okay. Listen, you guys. Adam uh, researched all the correct Sanskrit titles of the seven great books of yeah. Chandigarh of Dharmakirti. So here's Pramana Vartikakarika. You want to pronounce them, Adam, slowly? Yeah, yeah. Um, Pramana Vartika Karika. 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 Good, Karika. which means birth. Yeah. Okay. okay, here's the second one. Pramana Vinishchaya. Uh, I'm losing you. Pramana, Pramana Vinishchaya. Good. You can turn your video off for the meantime. <laughs> okay. Next one, Adam. Okay. Yeah. Nyaya Bindu Nama Prakarana. Good. Next one. Hetu Bindu Nama Prakarana. Good. Next one. <clears throat> Sambanda Pariksha Prakarana. 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 Good. Sixth one. San Santanantara Siddhi Nama Prakarana. Pra Santanantara Siddhi. Santanantara Siddhi. Good. Nama. Prakarana. Prakarana. Last one. Vadanyaya. Vadan, Vadanyaya. Nama. Prakarana. Prakarana. Good. Okay, we is finished my, that. Is, we, my internet, is my internet cutting out? We got that done. Uh, no, I think it's here's some. You think it's me? Is the, I'm the problem? Well, no, it's your internet that's a problem. <laughs> uh, sorry. Probably pe people started watching Netflix. Uh, <laughs> the whole town of Rimrock. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's uh, my proposal for the Sanskrit fake title of our commentary: Pramana Shastra Sena Sapta Alankara Manastamogna. All right, and we finished the Tibetan title. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're clear now. Good. Okay, good. And we finished bowing down to Manjushri. And now you're supposed to ask Geshla, why do you have this Shiva here? Geshla, why do you have this Shiva here? <laughs> Good question. Okay, so now we're starting some of the traditional poetry that comes at the beginning of a book. Oftentimes it has uh, ulterior motives like bow down to the teacher, uh, prove that the book has the four great qualities, make a promise to finish the book or die. Right, Adam? Yeah, I promise. Not if you did that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, 
Here we start. Okay, here's the first verse of poetry. Adam, who's your selected botherer? Uh, let's go with uh, Nick. Uh, he'll bother anybody. Ah. Okay, who's up first, Nick? I'll do the first one. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a Tibetan guy to me. Okay, good. Uh, now, you know, he's showing off to start with. All right, let me take this out and, uh, and you'll see why. Okay, let me take this out. Uh, okay. Uh, he has made poetry with impossible long meter. Okay, count the, count the syllables, Adam. This is one line. Let's see. Uchen, Chupin. Hold, the whole yeah. thing is one line. Oh, gosh. Oh, sorry. Rope, Kurchang, Mulna, Chiwoi, Shabki, Pabmor, Pungwa, Shin. So it's 21? It's 8 plus 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. 22. 22 syllables per line. Okay, we had eight in the Sanskrit the other day. It was a lot. Okay, so look, he continues like that. Here's the whole verse. The verse has four lines like that. Okay, this is one verse. Okay, <laughs> one thought in 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 eighty eight syllables. Okay, <laughs> one one verse in eighty eight syllables. It's incredible. He's showing off his skill. Okay uh and let's work through it okay let's work through it and it's not easy okay mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things hidden in it okay and and to be honest you know i was talking to veronica about it um in the monastery the lama sk skipped this part but we want to make a complete translation so here we go uh what's duty deathless nectar Nectar. Yeah. Echen means possesses that light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chipen means a crown of a king. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chipen. This verse, this line, okay, of 22 syllables is uh, referring to Shiva. Okay. Ishvara or Shiva. Okay. And I got you a picture of Shiva because he's got this nice little crescent moon in his hair okay this is a characteristic of shiva uh -huh. okay he likes to wear a crescent moon in his hair all right <laughs> okay so and by the way lines of six eight eight and six and it, it helps the reader you see uh, I, I propose putting super long lines, mixed not standard, in to put them like this and in, inset the inset the extra syllables. Okay, okay. So duty means uh, nectar, chen means mm -hmm. color of nectar, chipen you have a crown. Now traditionally, duty can refer to soma. Okay, and mm -hmm. soma is an ancient uh, liquid that is supposed to look like milk and uh, it was used by Hindu priests like 5,000 years ago uh, it's also called Oshada and uh, it would uh, bring on sort of uh, hallucinations okay spiritual hallucinations okay all right so when you say soma colored crown it means a white crown and in poetry, we often use images to indicate objects, okay? So when we say here, it says you have a soma colored crown, it means a white, white crown. Yeah, and that means the moon. Yeah, that means a crescent moon, okay? 
Now, if you're interested, which I don't care if you are or not, uh, Soma was made from the Datura flower, uh, which I have in my uh, yard nowadays because Vimala helped me plant it uh, from Diamond Mountain. I'm not using it because it's poison. Uh, so they used to take, a, I don't know how to mix it. They probably, and I, I'm not interested anyway, but uh, bees go crazy over this flower <laughs> and it opens at night. So at dusk, you can see the bees uh, waiting for it to open. They, they actually crowd around the flower waiting for it to open. And then when it opens, they jump in. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, Dutsi Yochen, you have a crown, which is the color of Soma. It mm -hmm. makes you beautiful. Okay. It makes mm -hmm. you beautiful. What's core, uh, uh, it's Mr. Like Human burden. Dictionary? Do you remember? Burden. Yeah, burden. Good. Burden. Heavy burden. Raupa means dreadlocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Raupa means dreadlocks. Chang means you are wearing, you like Dorje Chang. You have, you have uh, a heavy load of dreadlocks. It means, look here, there's the heavy load of dreadlocks. He's still talking about Shiva or Ishvara, okay? Mm -hmm. And your ghoul is not. Your throat is black. Good, yeah. Do you know the story? By the way, it's blue, actually. Okay. Do you know the story? No, I don't. Um, uh, I'm on she, the when they created the universe, uh, they, they stirred some, the oceans and created this world. And then there was some poison produced and he drank it and didn't die. But he did get a blue throat. Okay. <laughs> So when, when you say in India, blue-throated or black-throated, it means Ishvara, okay? Cool, cool, ma? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and, uh, but uh, you, you touch your uh, dreadlock-weighted head to, to the feet, shab, shab, of a special person. Who's that? Um... It's probably going to be Lord Buddha. Okay, it's probably going to. It's, it's a tradition that the great, powerful devas uh, came and touched their heads at his feet. Okay, uh, Lord Buddha's feet is called Pema. Um, yeah, Pema Yeah. Yeah, at your lotus feet. Puma means a honeybee. Bee. Yeah. Okay, and I got you a picture of honeybees. This is my bird's water dish. And this, this is what he's referring to. Honeybees tend to line up uh, at, the, at the nectar, okay, in a row, okay? So wow. he's comparing these powerful Hindu deities to honeybees who want to come to the, to the lotus of Lord Buddha's feet and touch their head, okay? Okay, cool. It means yeah. Buddha must be pretty powerful. These guys use planets like marbles. But when they see Buddha, they run and touch their head like these bees. Okay. Okay. We got through one line. Let's go to the next line. Who's, who's up? Ella Lu. You there, Ella? Uh, yes. Let's go, man. Hey, I heard G Coffee opened up again. Yes, we opened can, for a month. Can you talk to the owner and ask them if they want to invest, if they want to make a coffee shop in Rimrock? <laughs> I will. Just kidding. I, it already has an owner. Okay, let's go, Adam. Anku Rinchen Riroy Peltro Shiji. CG Pumpoi Kurgi Nil We Gatsoi Guchin Darwar Sim. Okay. Uh, Kanku means, by the way, this is a, a, a device 
in ancient poetry. Remember Kangi Loder de Nietendel? Who is it that? Yeah, you start poetry with a question. Who is it that is so beautiful? Who is it that has the sweetest smile in Colorado? Who is it that wears the most cute PJs in? <laughs> and then everybody goes, Ava! Ava! <laughs> Ava! Okay. So, Kangu, who is it? Whose body steal, steals away, troke, troke the yeah. glory of the jewel mountain? What's the jewel mountain? Um, it's, you know, from the, from the long mandala prayer. Um, yeah, it's Mount Meru. Yeah. It's Mount Meru. Yeah. Why is our sky blue, according to, to Stanley Bundu's text? It's reflecting one of the sides of Mount Meru. The western side of Mount Meru, I'm oh, sorry, southern side, is made of sapphire. Uh, okay, and uh, then the other sides are made of other jewels. So our sky is blue because the sapphire gets reflected by the sun. Okay, all right. So what's the jewel mountain is uh, Mount Meru, okay? But when you sit down, Mount Meru shrinks. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, Who's that? Away the glory. Lord yeah. Buddha. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we look at you, Mount Everest looks small. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Rinpoche, my teacher. He was about five feet tall, but I swear he was eight feet tall. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, CG means your glory. Your magnificence is like a huge mountain. Pumbo can mean mountain, right? Mm -hmm. You have a mountain of, of glorious qualities. And that's a core. A burden. That's a heavy load. That's mm -hmm. a heavy load. A and weight. somebody yeah. gets tired, Nyawa, trying to carry it. Nyawa means gets tired. It's not dungyo. It's Nyawa means exhausted. Exhausted. Who, who gets exhausted? Gatsu Kuchen. Uh, um, uh, the one who wears the oceans uh, like a blanket. Which is? The, the world. Yeah, the earth. The earth itself, Dharma. Mm -hmm. It shakes. Okay. It trembles. <laughs> yeah, it trembles. Yeah, you are such a heavyweight that, uh, you know, the earth can support uh, Mount, uh, Mount Everest, but when you step on the earth, the earth trembles. You are, you are too heavy karmically, okay? Chen Sem. I want you to check this Sem word. Check this word. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I, I'm not sure about it. I mean, it could be, uh, it seems to me, or something like that, but I don't know. Okay. Next verse. Who's checking? Jean Jordan. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go, Adam. Watch out for Jean Jordan. Chen Le Nyan Chi Charke Sergi Duk Yu De Pan. Keep going. Uh, yila mumpe tul shoot long. Good. Ninche uh, means what? Do you remember? It's a day maker. day maker. Yeah, which means? The sun. Yeah, your enlightened activity, your chinle, is like the sun. And when it rises, charka means when it rises the lights of the race uh, chases away the troden of the Duki Dipan. Okay. Uh, what's Drondo? Overestimate. How did Geshe Tupton Rinchen explain it when we went there and studied eloquence of essence of eloquence with him? It's like arrows of the fletch, it's the fletching on the back of an arrow that you add to it. Yeah. It's like adding feathers to an arrow to make it fly straight. 
It's not part of the original arrow. It's an addition, okay? That's called dro. So dro then can mean bird, which has that which has a feather, mm -hmm. or it can mean an arrow, that which has a mm -hmm. feather, okay? Dioki uh, Depen means the, the, the captain of the demons, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and I had trouble with this. I, I studied it for quite a while. And I, the best I can come up with is that it's mental afflictions and they are arrows shot by the king of the demons. And it's traditional, I don't know if it's relevant, but it's traditional to say that Lord Buddha achieved enlightenment at dawn. Okay. And the tantric texts say with his partner. Okay. So, uh, Maybe it means, maybe it refers to the arrows that were shot by the Mara just before Lord Buddha got enlightened, which would have happened at dawn. Okay. Uh, and when your sun comes up of your enlightened deeds, then the mumba in my yi. The darkness of our mind. Of and what's mind. a tulshu? What's a tulshu? Uh, it's that thing you find in Portuguese restaurants. Spanish, tapas. Tapas, okay. Oh yeah, spirit of water yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so tushuk means difficult uh, spiritual practice, but it, it means uh, a difficulty, okay? So when, the, when, when you show up, you give off this light that scares away the guys running around with arrows and it lifts the difficulty of my spiritual practice from my mind. And there's the title of this book, Hidden in the Verse, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you take away the darkness of the mind, okay? Tamas, uh, tamog, uh, manas tamogna, okay? You take away the darkness of the mind, okay? Yeah. All right, let's go, Adam. Who's up, who's up? Asada. Who? Basara Chen from Taiwan. Oh, cool. Shall get your Terry Yen Lot Druk Chui, Kang Tungi, Zay Tubwang, Sungi, Jik Ting, Gokba, Truk Gurchik. Okay, uh, Chut there means a treasure house of water, which can mean a lake or an ocean. And it's comparing uh, Lord Buddha's mouth to a, a lake or an ocean. What's a kung tung, Adam? Um, to drink from uh, at the feet. Um, uh, what's, what's a, it's a poeticism for something that drinks through its foot. Uh, it, it means a tree. A tree. A tree. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Foot Makes drink. sense. Foot drinking, yeah. okay? So Zay means makes beautiful, okay? So the mm -hmm. oasis of your holy lips are beautified by the palm trees of the 60. What's that? Um, oh, uh, 60 qualities of, um, of shell, of holy, holy, holy words, holy speech. Yeah. Yeah, actually 64,000, right? But sometimes it's short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So may the speech of the Lord of the able ones steal away the gupa of the jigten. The troubles of the world. Nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now, so I like this image of... Uh, the 60 qualities of the, the 64 qualities of the Buddhist speech are like palm trees around the oasis of his mouth. Okay, it's, it's a beautiful image. Okay. It's really beautiful. There's the story of why Shiva has a blue neck, in case you're interested. The, the Sanskrit is a shitikanta, which means Mr. Blue Neck or Mr. Black Neck. That's his nickname. Okay, here's the story, Adam of him drinking the poison. So I prefer to footnote 
ancient books explaining ancient books. Mm -hmm. So I would use this page from this text in your footnote to explain why he has a black neck or a blue neck, okay? And here it is here, okay? Uh, Duke Sene, he, he, he ate the poison and his Wang Chuk's uh, Shiva or Ishvara's throat got blue, okay? There's the reference, okay? So I like to use ancient references to prove ancient references. Okay, and here's the next verse. Who's up? Gina, Gina, you're up. Yay, Gina. Hey, Gina, just complain about something. Adam. Yes, sir. Speaking one bad for her. Okay. Please mispronounce one thing. You can pre pretend it was on purpose. <laughs> Kanshik Taye Drowe Dan Slad Pende Kurchen Tugna Dawa Dawe Tugen Jishin Tugjei Tugi Tug Tor Gen Dulak Parlang. Yeah, great. One verse of it's, it's one line of poetry. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and how he made these many lines is amazing. Okay. Kangshik, who is that one? who works le for the benefit of countless beings, okay? Who is that guy who works for the benefit of infinite beings, okay? Mm -hmm. Who wears a head ornament, uh, sorry, who wears a heavy load of help and happiness for all living beings? Who wears a heavy load of help and happiness for all living beings. That's a parallel of who, of what, in the last, in the first verse, in the first line. Somebody had a heavy load. Shiva. It was Shiva's uh, dreadlocks, dreadlocks, okay? So now they're comparing Lord Buddha's head to Shiva's head, okay? Mm -hmm. That other guy's turned on with by dreadlocks. <laughs> what you like to wear on your head is the heavy load of working for the benefit of many beings, okay? And you also wear dawa in your tsuktor. Uh, the moon in, in yeah. your crown. Yeah, you also wear the moon on your head. Oh, sorry. Just as he wears the moon on his head, you wear tukje on your head. Um, holy compassion. Yeah, you, he wants to put a moon on his head. You've got compassion on your head, okay? And your tsuktor. You got that Buddha bump, so sexy. And you, you dress yourself so elegantly in the jewel of a Buddha's bump on his head, okay? Yay. <laughs> you are much more fashionable than the guy who has the moon and the long hair, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next, who's up? Uh, Anatole. Anatole? Anatole? Oh my God! You there? Anatole? Why not? Why not Kyrie? Why not pick the smart one? Or Kitty, Kyrie. You guys there? Yeah. Gotta turn on. Turn on your microphone. Check check. <laughs> hey Anatole. Some people say Kyrie. Some people say Kitty. Which is correct? Uh, I think both are correct. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Okay, let's go, Adam. Good. Good. Yen uh, metal. Uh, you take up the flower petals of high qualities. In your nimba means to cup your hands like this together. It's like Anjali. It's actually a, a translation of Anjali. Chung uh, tenna. And if we if we experience those flowers of faith. Uh, offered in the two hands, then the tsaser chepe user, these uh, 
we get these um, warm rays of light, okay? And like those, your rays of wisdom light, okay? Your rays of wisdom light. Mongbei Munso is okay. They clear away the darkness of our misunderstanding, our stupidity. You gay means you split off thousands of light rays like that. Okay, cool. We just finished one verse with 88 syllables in it. Wow. Question? Is it gay was to split? Yeah, gay means, uh, yeah, the, the place you see it in modern Tibetan for $100, anybody? Vice of speech? No. Nah. It's the share that monks get of the money that the sponsor offered at the Momo party. Momo party. Uh, did you get your gate? No, I didn't get my right. gate. Okay. So mm -hmm. it means to split up. Then here it means you, you split out rays of light, okay? Which take away the darkness of our ignorance, which is the theme of the title of this book, okay? Yay. Here we go. Now he's starting another verse, by the way, four huge lines. Who's who's up? Ife. Yay, Ife. Drowe, drowe, yikiku mu tsola, shiwe, da e kunkin, yeshe, kun la jishin kun tu jukpa, kun ne terwa, terwe, pel yunjin. Yeah. Uh, so he's comparing the minds of living beings to the kumutso, which means a lake covered with water lilies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you send out your moonlight, which, mm -hmm. in according to ancient tradition, mm -hmm. is cool and gives peace. Okay. The mm -hmm. peaceful moonlight of your omniscience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it touches everyone. Kunla uh, jishin, kundu jupa. What do you call it? Uh, without uh, prejudice to everybody, equally. Okay? Mm -hmm. That light touches all beings equally. And it gives everything. Kunetera. It's a very glorious thing. Okay? Pelyan chen. Okay? Treats them. And by the way, it's tradition that the moonlight doesn't choose who it shines on, okay? It just is there. And if you walk outside, you get a piece of it, okay? So it's, it's a image of uh, fairness uh, uh, or in, impartial uh, service of all living beings, okay? All right, keep going. Uh, Rick Tan. Rick Tan, yay. Thank you. Rabmar, Rabmar, Sermoy, Dab, Treng, Yowe, Jampe, Yang, Kishap, Kipabmo, Pabmoy, Nyingi, Pabmo, Jishin, Dak, Lop, Pabmoy, Pel, Gurchik. Okay. He's got a bunch of Pemos in here, uh, which means Padma. So sometimes Tibetans write Padmo for Padma, okay, meaning lotus, okay. So uh, you are wearing a string of russet golden, red gold uh, mm -hmm. petals. It means it's a reference to the body color of Manjushri, okay, which is said to be Marcer, uh, red, red mixed with gold, okay. Hey, Jambayang. Uh, uh, at at your lotus feet, Shapki Pemo, at the at the lotus of your feet, the friend of the Padma. Now the friend of the Kamuda is the moon. Uh, it comes out at night. Who's who's the friend of the lotus, which comes out at, <laughs> in the opposite time? It's the sun. It's the sun. Okay, and this is the Nyan in in Gewe Shenyan in the word Geshe. Okay, it means friend. So friend of the lotus is a poeticism for the sun, okay? A friend of the lotus, okay? So uh, 
I ask you, O oh friend of the lotus, to shine on me as if I was a lotus, and please open my mind as if it were a lotus, okay? Open the petals of my mind as if it were a, a lotus, okay? It, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. All right, here's, who's up next? Kelly time. Oh, by the way, he's breaking out of his huge verses, okay? He's breaking out of that pattern. Now he's going to normal poetry. How many, the Sogni Norbu, Sogni Norbu Chusha Le Dub Ching. Nine, just nine lines, not 20, just nine meters, not 22, okay. Okay, here we go. Sogni Norbu Chusha Chushal le drup ching. Good. Lav sum kyon kor rik pe sil sar chen. Pego, pego drak chen kyon le nam jo we. Chok lang drak pe da wa tsuk yi chu. Good. He's like, you know what? I would like to stick my head in the, in the moon. Okay. Tsuk means mm -hmm. top of your head, right? It, and it means I would like to touch my head at the feet of two great teachers who are like the moon, okay? I would like to make offering at the feet of the two great masters with the top of my head. And those two guys are like the moon, okay? Uh, they are made of chishel, okay? And by tradition of the Stanley Bundu's book, uh, this, the, the moon is made of crystal, okay? Uh, okay. The, the moon is made of chushel means water, water glass, which means crystal, natural crystal, okay? Uh, your, your, your body, okay? Now it's comparing two people to the moon. Your body, is made of they do the crystal gemstone of the Tsokni. The two collections. Yeah. Kewa di kewa kun sunam yeshi top, right? Your your body is made of crystal, just like the moon. But in your case, the crystal is the two collections that you created your body and mind with. Okay. And uh this disc, kinkor, okay, here it doesn't mean mandala, mm -hmm. or it's the old meaning of mandala, which means a disc. And in the Abhidharma, the moon is a disc shape. It looks like a pill, or it looks like a big pill, okay? So uh, your, your, uh, the body of your mandala, meaning the disc that sh of the moon, is the lapsum. The three trainings. The three trainings of Adam. Um, I'd say the um, not Morality. sure. Morality. Yeah, the Tripitaka. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, morality, concentration, concentration and wisdom. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you are you are made of the crystal of the two collections. You are a disc of the three trainings, okay? And uh, when you give out your cool lights, okay? Silser, we yeah. had Satser above. Satser means hot rays. It's like warm, Silser yeah. means cool rays, okay? And by tradition, the rays of the moon make people cool, okay? You are giving off Silsers of logic, yay! Ooh. Okay, yeah. of logic, okay? You guys are moons. Uh, you're you're but you know you're made of the two collections. You're a disc of the three trainings. You are giving off light rays of logic, okay? And you are dis you are freeing people namdru from the problems kyun of Jia Chen Zin. Anybody for fifty dollars? Jia Chen Zin. Um. $50. <clears throat> Come on, human dictionary. Don't look it up either. 
attachment to self. Oh. What do the planets do? Is Rahula. 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 Judge. What's Rahula's job? It's the dark planet. Eclipsing. Eclipsing, dark. yeah. When, when Rahula uh, comes in front of the moon, you get an eclipse, okay? You mm -hmm. get an eclipse, okay? Pago means the those other debaters. It's an old world. It's an old word for the opponent in a debate. It's called pego. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Totally. When you come up, when you come up against those rahulas, you blow them away. Okay. <laughs> those rahulas cannot eclipse you. Okay. Now, Adam, who's the two guys? Uh -huh. uh, Choklong and uh, Dawa Drakpa, uh, Master Dignaga and Master Dharmakirti. Yeah, Choki Drakpa, Choki Drakpa, okay. Not Choki Dawa Drakpa. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, Choki Drakpa. Okay, cool. By the way, I don't know, I'm feeling generous tonight. 30 bucks for anybody that can explain the name Choklong, which is Dignaga, Dignaga. Elephant, elephants that hold up the directions of space. Okay, how much I said? Two dollars. Three hundred. <laughs> eh, shut up. Twenty dollars <laughs> for uh, thirty. Word, okay. Thirty. <laughs> oh, was it thirty? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to make ten bucks. Come on, give me a break. Uh, yeah, dig naga. Dig means directions, mm -hmm. and naga normally means dragon, long, but sometimes it can refer to mystical elephants who hold up the, the uh, 10 directions, okay, or the eight directions. So Dignaga, this famous grandfather of all logic books, his real name is Elephant Direction Protector, okay? Mm -hmm. And then what's the name of uh, Dharmakirti mean, Adam? As famous as the moon. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, who spreads, who spreads the Dharma, okay? Dharma Kitty. Right. Okay, cool. All yeah. right. Uh, Dawa. Dawa Tsuki Chu. You are the guys I'd like to put in my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meaning I touch my top of my head to your feet. Okay, got it. Uh, let's keep going. We got time. Let's keep going. Who's up? Who's up? Connie. Uh -oh, okay, uh, Adam, at least one mistake, please, for Mrs. Okay. O'Brien. Okay. Tup ten sir gdrawe dong zhe xing. That was supposed to be a low tone. Yeah, xing. Du shi dro den lo dre chi zu to. Kinze, Dakwe, Dakpe, Chewa, Chekarwa, Young Zen, Locked In, Wamboy, Shabla, De. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, your face, I don't know, let's go back and look at Ishbar's face. Anything going on? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, uh, your face, where are we? Your face is uh, is in the middle of a halo of a golden network of light. Okay, what's the halo? Tupe Demba. Oh wow! The teachings of the Buddha. The peach, You know, you don't wear. You like to wear halos. Dong Zhe Xing. That's what makes your face beautiful. Okay, and. Trenden means you like to talk about do a she. Uh, the four groups. The four um, ways of collecting. Uh, disciples. Yeah. Do, do. Mm -hmm. Can you give them to me? Go slow. Go slow. Tell me. I know, four I know the ways. first one. I okay. think the, the first one is 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 uh, is giving. Uh, uh, material possessions, right? Yeah, like make bets with them and lose as much money as you can. Okay. Yeah. Second one. 
You guys got to give me some help. Okay, who's going to help on number two? In, uh, encouraging them? Encouraging. Yeah, encourage them. If they pronounce something right, say, ooh, that's so cool. Three is... Number three. Uh, is... It's material. Oh. No, when they do something wrong telling them? No. Nope. Number three is if they do something right. I'm sorry. Uh, number three is, yeah, encourage them to not make the Dharma just books. Okay, mm -hmm. that's number three. Encourage them to carry out the Dharma and not make it just a book thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. What's number four? Practice what you preach? Yeah, the teacher should practice what they preach and then disciples will be uh, attractive, okay? So, Druden means, what do you like to talk about? Well, the four ways to get disciples to come, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have a big high bump on your head, Chitu. <laughs> Chitu, yeah. that's, that's your lodra, your shira. Intellect, yeah. That's your wisdom. Your okay? wisdom, okay. And you have very beautiful chewas, which are your knowledge and your love. You have two chewas, which are mm -hmm. your pure knowledge and your pure love. What's a chewa? Um, uh, by the way, you know, Adam, don't worry. We'll get through this poetry and we'll hit some philosophy. And we'll know what he's talking about. No, this is I pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Has some of them. What's that? The buyer of a guy has some of them, and so does the VY lady. Yeah. Some of them. Ah, tusks. But these are, <laughs> yeah, tusks. Great, 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 great. Yeah. And they are very white. Okay. <laughs> they are very white. Oh. So your tusks are now he's going to Yongzin Langden Wangbo. Langden means the one, Hastivat, Hastivat. It's a poeticism for the one who has the arm, extra arm elephant isn't it yeah elephant yeah uh -huh. okay when you That's offer an elephant arm. a peanut he reaches out with his oh, extra us. arm okay so long then oh, right. the guy who has the extra arm okay <laughs> uh and he says you are the king of elephants all right who his youngzin his personal youngzin mm -hmm. his tutor yeah yeah, now who's Kirub J's tutor? Uh, Jetson Kappa. Yeah, and he's saying, I bow down to your feet because you're the real king of the elephants, not like. <gasps> not like, not, yeah. not like Dignaga, okay? He's, he's just holding up the world, <laughs> you know? You want to meet a real elephant? You got to meet my teacher. Okay, Longbo <laughs> means king of the elephants. Okay, my mm -hmm. my youngzin. Okay, and that's a very high honorific word to use for a a teacher because it's normally reserved for a like a teacher of the of the very highest lama. Okay, that's uh, time. <laughs> what's that? We're at time. We're we're out of time. Oh man, I was just getting into it. Uh, all right. Uh, by the way, Adam, uh, for your footnote mm -hmm. about the four ways of collecting disciples, uh, I, I, I gave you a quote, a nice quotation from Geltabji, okay? Kid of Jay's brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's the four in here. So you can use that for your uh, footnote, okay? Okay. Cool. All right, yeah, thank we're, you. Almost, we're almost done with the poetry. And and by the way, I've never met a, a teacher in the monastery who did the po who went through the poetry. It's really cool. I like it. Really cool. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go, handsome. <clears throat> Sashi Puki Jukshi Beto Trump, Rirab Linchi Ninde Gemhadi, 
Thank you. Thank you. That was a nice fun. Amelie just put her hands together in prayer during Emily. That. Emily. <laughs> Emily. That's pretty wild. You want to see Amelie? Hey, wait. V, 